uh, what is simulation? Simulation is a way of replicating the, uh, the outcomes of an uncertain process. That is, we know the forecast may be wrong, we're looking at different possibilities, and if this were happen uh, in the terms of the forecast and say the demand for cars or the amount of liquid fuels consumed, here's the way we would deal with, here's the way the system would deal with it, here's the, the value of the system or the sales or the losses or whatever. It's often called Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, why is this? Uh, because Monte Carlo is a European gambling hub. It's the Macau or the Las Vegas uh, of the actually of the um, 1900s and 1920s. That was uh, it was the place at that time, and therefore it is designed to show about the it associated with luck and chance and uncertainty. That's why it's called Monte Carlo simulation, as opposed to a as opposed to a deterministic uh, uh, simulation. So we don't use the Monte Carlo very often because it just adds to the uh, language, uh, la makes the words longer, but uh, it's the uncertain aspect that we're talking about. So what it does, it provides us with a sample, a, that is a distribution of what might happen if under, under some uncertainty. So think of it like you're flipping a, a coin. And it comes up heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, whatever. That it will give you a distribution of the frequency of the possible outcomes uh, that will occur. And um, it, uh, the way it operates depends upon the underlying uncertainty with the process. In the coin toss, it is the probability that the coin comes up heads or tails, which we normally call 50%, but maybe there is a particular bias in the coin that you're flipping because of a nick or whatever, it might not be that. Now, Monte Carlo simulation, as it's practiced, can work with any um, distribution, any distribution. It's no need to go for some analytically attractable uh, distribution, such as so-called normal distribution or um, J distribution or uniform distribution or binomial distribution. That is, it can be regular, that is one of these normal distributions, or irregular, what you observe, which might be the distribution of rain or monsoons in India, which um, have a different intensity and timing and so on, and there are reasons why they might not be nice and uh, nice simple distributions. And it can be continuous or not. It could be bimodal, it could be so mostly about one outcome or mostly about the, um, another outcome, sort of a two-state device with uncertainties. So the simulation works for any distribution that's available and it can be works for lots of things being uncertain. So if you're thinking about uh, running a company and you are thinking about your income, there might be distributions of the demand for it in terms of how many, there might be a distribution in terms of the prices for it. There might be distributions in terms of the productivity or production process. So they can calculate it for two, three, four more uh, possible distributions. Now, we tend to keep those numbers simple to focus on the main aspects of it, but it's perfectly possible to have a large number. I have a former student now who's working on a spreadsheet um, uh, that, I, as, as I understand it, has 20,000 entries on it, um, lines to it. To me, that seems absurd, but, um, I'm, but the company is billing by the hour, so maybe it's a good thing to have a, a lot of work to do. Um, but in any case, uh, the point is it can work with almost any distribution. It's not limited by uh, some mathematical formula or limited to a particular uh, approach. I say that because uh, there are other forms of dealing with uncertainties uh, where really it assumes that you have a particular distribution or particular aspects of the distribution. So for example, those of you who might be in supply chain or have otherwise dealt with it, they might be using um, uh, 
dynamic programming. Dynamic program is a very powerful way of thinking about what might happen in the future, but it has very strict assumptions about it, which in fact don't apply to the kind of problems that we're dealing with here. Uh, to give it a name, it assumes path of independence, that it is nothing management can do to change the situation, which is of course exactly where we differ. So um, the simulation has not been part of standard engineering education. Why is that? It's because it implies if you're going to do it um, in a way that really makes a lot of sense, you want to have lots of different samples. If you're looking at different things happening, uh, you want to have lots of flips of the coin, so to speak. You might want to have a thousand uh, uh, repetition. Well, modern computers can do it. 20 years ago, they couldn't. It was, so simulation has not been, Monte Carlo simulation has not been part of engineering practice. Um, so it's now possible. Secondly, the model basically can be very simple. A spreadsheet is very powerful uh, and you can get it with an Excel add-in if you can do it. The garage case template, which I've provided is an example of that. There are very slick versions available. At risk is one of them. Uh, the case I'll be talking about later on is a, has another one called crystal ball. Um, so there are various forms of it. Uh, the slick versions often don't allow you to do the kind of flexibility analysis that I, that we'll be talking about in the, in the course, but just to give you, there's a range of it. And there are, of course, other simulations that are possible, systems dynamics models, queuing models, neither of which really apply to the kind of issues that we're dealing with in terms of system design and management, but uh, I don't want to exclude them from the, uh, the listing. So what do you need for to do a simulation? You need distribution for the key parameters, which in general may be est observed, estimated, assumed, or guessed. Let's, let's think about some examples. Observed, for example, the river flow. You, if you're trying to build an electric power, uh, hydro dam, a hydropower dam, or uh, for the Nile, as they have done now in Ethiopia, you'd like to know something about the uncertainties about how much water is gonna come down and how fast you can fill up the dam and how, how that all work. So you can have observations of that for the past 50, 100 years, depending on where you are. So river is an observable distribution and it may have some peculiarities. It doesn't have to follow any kind of no, uh, uh, normal or gumperts or other curve, it is what it is. Uh, it can be estimated. That is, if you're trying, as in the mining case, which I'll show later on today, you can consult the experts who have designed processing plants and who can have their best estimates of how this particular one is gonna work out. Um, and uh, so you can have a technical model of it and that estimates the performance of the, of the situation. It can be assumed. That is, you may have forecast of prices uh, of your product because you know something about the competition, you know somewhat about how they behave and so forth, so that you may forecast ahead, assuming various aspects of the market, the actions of your competitors, uh, the uh, demand for your product and so forth. Or it simply may be guessed. Uh, your pro pro production may depend upon the possible environmental rules. If you're into renewable energy, the rules on taxation and environment and so forth may be affected by national or local legislation. And we don't have observations of how they behaved in those situations in the past, but we could go to people who understand the legislature or the process, and they might tell you whether it's a 50% chance or a 10% chance, and it's a, it may be useful to you, but it's clearly guessed. So we do the best we can, and in defense of, take, of dealing with things which are guesses, I would say that guessing there's a chance is better than ignoring a chance, which is a form of 
guess also, but with a lot less um, information about it. So there's no claim that these distributions can be, are perfect or scientific in that way, but we have to deal with the world as it is and um, recognizing their chances and uncertainties uh, is uh, in the right direction.